welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing this video with my son elijah who is nine years old and he is in third grade and we are going to do level three of the good and the beautiful for you this is a part of a huge collaboration with my friend yasmin over at mommy on the move and she in this playlist is going to have a video for every single level of the good and the beautiful language arts so be sure to check out that gigantic playlist down below as well as Yasmin's channel and not only that but we have a huge giveaway for you as well so be sure to also click on the link to the raffle copter giveaway entry down in the description box below it is a gift card for $120 going to the good and the beautiful so be sure to check out that giveaway check out the other awesome ladies that are a part of this collaboration and stay tuned for us doing a lesson together in level three of the good and the beautiful's language arts Elijah is actually finishing up his language arts. There's 120 lessons uh, in level three and he's on a lesson 115. But today uh, what he's going to do is he's going to be reading uh, a couple of pages out of I Sat by the Sea, which is the poetry collection that goes along with this level. He is also going to be working on spelling out loud OO words and we are going to be doing some poetry. This is actually kind of a longer lesson and the nice thing about the good and the beautiful is that you can split it up if it's too much but he's pretty much used to doing a lesson that's this big so we're going to go ahead and just stick with it today um, and then he's got like a little section for spelling rules and we're gonna probably just skip poetry memorization today spelling patterns homophones simple and compound sentences and then he reads for 20 minutes a book of his choice and then he'll fill out the question down below here so uh, that is lesson 115 that we are going to be doing today so are you ready out this 91 and 92. i also forgot to mention that he does a lot of this independently but for the sake of this video today i'm going to go ahead and sit next to him uh, he does a lot of it independently, but he we also go over new concepts or concepts that he uh, isn't quite understanding. So um, level three isn't really like at the point where they get independent yet, but it just so happens to work out that way that he does a lot of like the reading himself and he likes checking off the boxes himself and things like that. So um, just a little disclaimer that I don't always have to sit right next to him whenever he's doing a full lesson of the good and the beautiful, but for the sake of today's video, I will be. If I ever see, if I ever see on bush or tree, young birds in the pretty nest, I must not even play. Can you spell out loud pool? P O O L. Cool. C O O L? Yes. School. S um, S C H O O L. Tool. T O O L? Mm hmm. Wool. Like the wool on a sheet. W O O L? Yes, good job. Root, like the root of a. O O O O T? Yes, boot. B O O T? Hood. Um, H O O D? Mm hmm, good. G O O D? Yes, good job. All right. So now we're going to look at this painting, and this is the painting that he's going to be studying. Um, this 
the good and the beautiful language arts always incorporates beautiful artwork within the lessons. So some of these lessons will be tailored around uh, looking at a piece of artwork and writing about it. So we are going to study this painting and we're going to write down adjectives. Do you remember what adjectives are? What do adjectives describe? Mm, yeah, adjectives describe nouns. So what are some examples of adjectives like? Hot. Hot summer? <laughs> well, summer, yeah, summer is a noun, but what are some examples of adjectives, like some describing words that may be used to describe a noun? What about like blue? Or what are some other describing words? Small. Big. Yeah, big's one. So what we're going to do is for the sky, the clouds, and the air as we look at this painting, you are going to write some describing words to describe what that looks like to you. So like some colors, uh, fluffy, whatever you can uh, think of. And then for the trees and grass, you will also do the same thing there. And then for sounds and smells, like imagine that you're in this painting. What are, how do you think it would smell? How do you think it would sound? I'll write down some adjectives for the sky, the clouds, and the air. Sky, clouds, and air. So what does it look like? Blue. Blue, okay, so blue could be one. All right, we have our list of adjectives and now he is going to write a four line poem about this painting using some of the adjectives that he's done. And we're going to make it rhyme as well. So just like this one says, the trees stand tall and straight and true. The sky rolls on in endless blue. Whether thin, full gray or white, clouds are such a wondrous sight. So you see how those are rhyming together? Can you write a rhyming uh, poem that is four lines long like this one is using some of, you don't have to use all of them, just use some of your adjectives to describe this painting? Okay. Okay. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Order in a cup of love. Feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Okay. The blue sky looks like a sight. The rocky rocks, oh how polite. The grass and flowers will be there, and the fluffy clouds will be pale. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! Oh I love it. Mama. Oh, you want to do Mama, one now? He wrote, he wrote a poem. Yeah, and it rhymed, and it was amazing. We're not doing the poetry memorization on this page, but we are going to be doing these, which you know how to do it. You just follow the directions. Lunches, you watch boxes, classes, classes. Now for our last page. Do you remember what the seven coordinating conjunctions are? What fanboys? Fan boys. Right, fanboys. So what does each one stand for? This one is full. The other one is and. The other one is null. Mm -hmm. 
The other one is butt. Mm -hmm. The other one is on. Not on. Out. Wait, nope. don't say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this time I can do this on my own. Okay. And there you go. On to? Nope. Mm -hmm. It's a two letter word. Beyond. Good boy. Not on. Cool. Okay. Um. Or? <laughs> yes. Or. Um, and you? No, not you. Yet. Yet. Yet, and the last one, I think so. Yes. Great job. It kind of looks like the eagle is carrying the S. <laughs> He said the eagle is carrying the S on that one. Okay, an independent clause can stand on its own as a sentence because it has a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. A comma and a coordinating conjunction can connect two independent clauses into one sentence. So an example of two independent clauses is, I saw an eagle, period, I was quiet. Example of two independent clauses made into one sentence. I saw an eagle, comma, so I was quiet. See, they put a so in there to connect the two. Hey, that's why it's here. In the boxes, write the two things you need to connect two independent clauses. So what are the two things you need? You need a so a comma. Comma. So write comma. C O M M A. O M. For each sentence, underline the correct sentence structure. A simple sentence is one independent clause, and a compound sentence is an independent clause, plus a comma and coordinating conjunction, plus another independent clause. So let's read these sentences and underline the correct one, if it's simple or if it's compound. So we've got... Father took us on a walk in the forest. Is that a simple sentence or a compound sentence? Simple. Simple. So go ahead and underline simple. The morning was cool morning. and the birds were singing. Compound. Yes. You want to read the rest of these? And... Mm -hmm. We heard a noise, but Dad said it was just a deer. Wait, you're on. Ah. Oh. We, will not in, we will not in a hurry, so we walk slow. Oh. Um, compound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really compound okay. it. We can sit by the river or we can walk in the forest. So now the last thing is that you're going to read your book that you are silent reading and then you're going to write the answer to if you met the main character of your book, do you think you would be friends with him or her? Why or why not? It's him. I hope that you guys enjoy doing a lesson out of the Good and the Beautiful's Level 3 Language Arts. Um, can you tell them to be sure to enter the giveaway? Okay. They say the answer. No, you gotta say it. You gotta say it loud and clear. Say it clearly. They want it. Okay. Say, be sure to enter the giveaway down below. Be sure to enter the giveaway down below. Okay, can you look at the camera and say it this time? <laughs> Be sure to enter the way down Hello. below. The video? <laughs> <laughs> the giveaway. <laughs> the giveaway. <laughs> Be sure to enter the giveaway down below as well as check out the playlist of all of the other language arts do a lesson with me We have every single level for you guys. So that's really exciting So if you have been interested in checking out any specific level and want to see what it looks like in real time Be sure to check out those videos as well as Yasmin's channel uh, Mommy on the move be sure to check her out show her some love and I will talk to you guys very soon You look so beautiful and I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me